on the play. Uh, we've got a, what they call a closed herd, so we don't buy anything from the outside. Everything is raised, and so that way we know what the genetics are and, and what they do. Um, we've had, uh, as you see here, there's some black cows and some cows and some white faces. Uh, the white face will come from some Herford influence, so we've got a little bit of heterosis in the herd, but predominantly uh, black Angus um, here. Um, majority of these calves uh, will all be uh, at least three quarters uh, black Angus. So like I said, the, the white faces will have a little bit of Herford in there, again, for some, some gross genetics, uh, a little bit, just with more bone structure, some, things, some good things that we can pick up through heterosis there. Um, we're, these are all spring calving, obviously. You'll see these babies here uh, as we sit here early May. Uh, our start date on calving was March 3rd, so we target that, and we've got, uh, we've got one cow left to calve, a tail ender. So pretty much calve for about 60 days through the month of March and a little bit into April here. Um, so these calves, uh, like I said, were, were born about 60 days ago. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had our big spring roundup where uh, we get everything in and then give them all of their uh, vaccinations uh, to get them ready to go uh, to grass for summer. Hopefully, we'll get some rain. We are in D4 drought right now, so normally, first of May, we would not be feeding cattle like this. They would be happily grazing green grass, but uh, we haven't had much rain. We've had a little bit of a cooler spring, and so you can see there's a little bit of green starting but not much and so we're still supplementing cows right now and hoping that mother nature cooperates with us.